the Ginger Warrior is in category C and it's painful, so stay tuned for all the action. Welcome folks to the Ginger Warrior Cycling Club and this is stage one of Viva La France RGV course and this is the Ginger Warrior's first race since his tremendous promotion to category C. The channel is slowly getting more exposure so thanks to you all out there for that, it truly means a lot. Some of the other riders are getting interactive there. You've got Steve, a Scottish rider, giving good feedback on the videos. He's a follower. And you've got the L Warrior, Latex Warrior. He's actually part of the GWCC. If any of you others want to join, you can just apply through the uh, Zwift Companion app. Currently, there's not so many of us, but let's become a growing force. So we're counting down and let's get ready to go and as the Lactix Warrior there is suggesting, let's give it some oomph, which is the absolute key to every single race that you enter. So it's the last few seconds here before we get out of the blocks, I sit out to the saddle Ginger Warrior, you need to pump those watts. This is your first uh, Category C race, it's quite exciting to finally be here officially, even daunting because now the hard work is going to start. As always, it's a fast start, there's a few there off the front, it's important we stay with this pack. So it's taken just over six months to get to this stage of being uh, officially in Category C. So I think we have every right to feel a little proud. But enough of that, it's no good blowing your own trumpet. Let's put on a good show and show that we belong here. So it's 75 riders in this field, so it's a big pack. Um, main aim was not to be finished last, but if we could finish in the top half, that would be great. And the main challenge we can see with this course is uh, there's a bit of a lump in the middle there. That is going to be the challenge, is getting up and over that lump and staying with the front pack. But let's just see how it goes. Jump forward a bit in the footage here, it's 56 in this front pack and uh, it's a big blob as they call it. Not much is happening really, which is quite normal with these flat courses. So let's just, uh, maybe we jump forward to closer to where the lump is. Let's jump forward about 10 clicks because not much happens. And as we can see, we're still in the front pack here. There's 54 of us. Got a draft and boost in my uh, back pocket there. Hold on to that until the going gets tough. But we, we're just at the bottom of this climb. So let's just see how the Ginger Warrior manages this. This is the key part of the race. We're either going to blow up or we're going to stay with the pack. incline you can see from the course profile that's where we are but also by the grid we're at uh, two percent uh five percent now um all the other riders around can't see steve or the lactic warrior they're both in this pack though i should imagine um so yeah this is important now just give it plenty of bump up yeah let's not get dropped He's getting a bit strung out. You want to stay out of that saddle, boy? Come on. This is really important. How many watts? 3.4 kilo. The other riders around us, 2.43, 3.44. Come on, plenty of bumps. We've got to give it because we're about halfway up this hill. Coming over the aqueduct now. Come on, you can't get dropped. It's really important. It's maximum effort. We seem to be struggling a bit. The hard rate's at 175. Lactic Warriors behind us. Um, but this is strung out. We don't want to fall off the back. 
And um, Lactic Warriors busted some watts there, 3.6. Ginger Warriors at 3.4, but uh, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna fall off the back if we're not careful here. Come on, lay down some wattage. Do understand that is difficult when your heart rate's at 178. But um, let's just try and hang in there. Come on, you can't get dropped by yeah. Lactic Warriors beast in some watts, 4.4. He's just flown by. He's burned his matches there to try and cling to the group. That's what we should have been doing. He snuck by, we didn't see him. Um, no time to relax, but uh, yeah, it looks like we've been dropped here, Ginger Warrior. With 20, 11 click to go. We've been riding for 21 minutes, and um, yeah, it looks like we've blown up. Might be a little bit too late, but uh, too little too late, I should say. But yeah, come on, it's important to get with this group in front. You don't want to be in no man's land on your own. It's three or four riders in front there, at least you've got to tag with them. We don't want to have this pain in the last 10 click on your own in no man's land. Come on, lay it down. Plenty of room. Come on, price at stake. We sang with these three now. Bring it home. Like, I might have been being a bit hard on you and a BL, but uh, fair dues. Your heart rate was really high and you bust in like three and a half to 3.67 watts a kilo. It's no mean feet, like, way beyond your threshold. to the last three clicks because we're still with all the same pack not much has happened and uh, let's just see how the ginger warrior handles this we're 44th at the moment what are we going to finish up just three clicks from the end but this is a difficult part of the course there's a few ups and downs you need to lay down the oak and uh, let's stick with it, come on, let's, uh, let's keep pushing all the way to the end. It's been a grueling ride, but uh, we're happy to be here in Category C. giving it some up. important to stick with his pack. I said out of the saddle, but I say I'm at. Can we do any better than 44? This has proven to be a grueling challenge, but uh, just keep just hanging there. Just keep giving it maximum effort. That's all you can do. third with the second gap to Lawrence behind that's at least it looks like you're not gonna get 40 seconds unless you can lay down the armor but um, yes it's a tough race 1.6 to go piece they're going to play this evening Here. There's a kilometer to go and uh, it's proven that we've got a lot of hard work ahead of ourselves. We've got the training in and uh, keep giving a maximum of when we uh, enter these races. 
but uh, we just got to keep on trying to improve. So there's being a big dose of reality dished out in this race. It's going to be a hard slog ahead. I hope it's not been boring with us not being near the front, but I can guarantee we're going to give maximum effort to try and get as competitive as soon as we can in Category C. So just hang with us. I believe in the future. I believe in the future. I don't believe in this. The final couple of meters and, uh, well, that's all over. Thank God. Suddenly something seems to have happened. Suddenly something seems to have happened. Everybody seems to be staring in one direction. People seem to be frightened, even terrified. Confirmed there, 43, 2.4 watts a kilo, we need to start getting that up, so we're going to have to build your FTP somehow. Before we shoot off and say cheerio, let's get a feedback from the man himself, if he can breathe. Not bad, Ginger, are you? So let's head over to Zwift Power, see where we finished there. Ginger Warrior 38. Let's see where our team member came, Malactics Warrior, although he didn't help me out. We'll be having a word with him about that. He's finished in 32nd. And Steve, the Scottish rider, up there in 20th. So uh, well done to him. So if we see how many are actually in the field in Zwift Power, 57. We finished 38. That's not bad. So uh, need to go again. Thanks all for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and as ever, until next time, cheerio!